Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm Lorianne. We're going to take a look at the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign of Virgo. We're going to see whatever I get, whatever messages I get coming through for you over the next seven days or longer. I'll let you know as we go through the reading. But one thing for sure, with the zodiac sign of Virgo, you might be really getting excited about the holiday. Now, I know for me, the other day, it was like two days ago, I finally felt like the holiday was on was here because before that it was I even forgot to block off my holiday time right so those days were open they're not now uh, no, they're not now but I am bringing back those readings for you for Black Friday and a whole lot of really cool stuff for Black Friday so you can check that out on the website but the one thing is I keep hearing all the Christmas songs you might be going through the mall you may be walking around shopping or just singing humming it in your head is what I feel some of you Virgos are doing getting ready pulling things out or thinking about doing it and not actually doing it yet but we're going to take a look at whatever is coming through for our beautiful Virgos over the next week now I saw the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck and that does represent Virgo Taurus and Capricorn we also have the Hermit card that came out now the Hermit is saying it's time for you to take a step back you may be analyzing what you're gonna spend and creating a new budget for some of you very focused on making sure that you keep all of your uh, pentacles in order and they're showing me pentacles one two three four five five pentacles are coming down from the sky so this is managing five different areas of your life when it comes to finances you know paying your bills investing in a business investing in your retirement whatever it is and for a lot of you it does have to do with the holiday where you're allotting everything you can. And this is something for some of you where you've been very focused on a new opportunity that you've been trying to create, but you couldn't quite grab it. You couldn't grasp it. So you're being guided right now by your beautiful angels, by the beautiful guidance above the beings of light and love are gonna guide you down this narrow path. Virgo, you're getting ready to go on a path like this and that path has very high drop off on both points so there could be some fear so focus on where it is you truly want to go you're manifesting exactly what it is you want whether that's a relationship a job or not it's the internal wisdom is getting ready to come out in some of you some of you are getting ready to learn what that is and that is a lengthy process it's not like taking one Reiki, you know, course where we understand that and then all of a sudden everything just, boo, you're the master. Although it could for some, but very, very few, most of us need to spend a lot of time researching it and learning it and growing it. And I do feel some of you are getting ready to start. It looks like a um, nutrition and a... It's not yoga because there's so many different yogas out there. You know, you know, if you if you go in that industry, you are really facing a lot of traffic. But this is in the wellness category. I feel this is it's not what I do. It's not intuitive energy healing, intuitive energy reading. Um, this is getting a feel for where they need to go getting a feel for the foods that they need to eat, where you're tapping into people on a holistic level, on an intuitive level, you're tapping into their internal body. Some of you may be in the health industry. You could be a doctor, a PA, or a nurse, while others are in the holistic wellness industry, and they interconnect, they interconnect with each other. You have the King of Swords here, and the King of Swords is a... Uh, er Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini individual. We also have the Emperor. So whoever you're dealing with, you may be dealing with somebody very, very stubborn on a personal level. But when it comes to that business venture that I'm talking about, this is an offer. This is an opportunity that comes with a contract. And it is going to be working for a government, a higher facility. So this may actually be a hospital. It looks like a hospital setting to me where you may be getting an opportunity to bring in that holistic wellness into a hospital setting. This is going to be very, very beneficial for those of you in that group. Now, when it comes to a person that you're dealing with, it could be anybody in your life. It truly could. I feel for a lot of you, this was a truthful situation. 
that was not ever revealed. And you had to base all your decisions on your internal wisdom. And that's not always easy to do if we're not grounded, if we're not in balance. And I feel for a lot of you, that's what pushed you into the holistic wellness category. You wanted to learn, you wanted to grow, you want to do what I do, you want to help people on a profound level, and you actually are going to get that particular job. Now let's take a look at the adversities in this, and we're going to look at romance, absolutely, but let's finish these two uh, storylines so it doesn't get too confusing, because my messages, they just boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and that's why I'm so fast when I do my readings, because it just flies right out. Now we have the Queen of Swords, and this is cutting out anybody, anybody that's going to move you out of your focus. You are literally focused right now. You're focusing on your pentacles. You're focusing on your business. You're focusing on everything in your life that brings you to a more balanced you. That's what I'm seeing for a lot of you. You may have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in your moon, I mean, in your, um, in your zodiac sign. But for a lot of you, you probably are dealing with somebody like that. And we have the card of the chariot, which is about moving forward. Severing ties with anything that's blocking you because you're moving forward and there is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're not going to take no for an answer. You're very focused. You're very driven. When it comes to managing your finances, you guys are going to manage your finances in the most efficient and resourceful way, is what I'm hearing resourceful way. But we do have the two of swords. So moving forward is something you want to do, but you may feel like, again, you know, something is secretive. But what I was describing was you walking down this narrow path with the opportunity around you where you know every effort, everything you do right now is very important to the next decade of your life. It's starting a new chapter. So whatever path you pick, whatever direction you make, you've been very slow at investing in that. Very slow because you've got this very important decision to make. For some of you, I hope you join me um, and go to my website. You will see I have all kinds of Black Friday stuff going on. But this clearing and wellness plan may very well be something that can help you pull forward and make this happen. This is a new opportunity where you're going to sever ties with the old. That could be the old way of thinking. That may be a person and it may be a business. But for the majority of you, it doesn't matter what level it is. It's internal. Severing ties with anything toxic that holds you back. It's like, I am so done. You're going to cut those cords. And I hope to see you in our cord cutting ceremony. So let's pull a little bit more detail on this, you guys. This is actually a really big moment in time where, again, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, and that's taking your time very carefully, very cautiously, using your third eye as you move forward, and you don't see it. So when we have no sight, our other senses become heightened, right? When we have no sound, our other senses become heightened. And that's what you've learned. You have learned how to break through those blockages and move right past it. Because of that, you have the King of Pentacles. So this is an opportunity that is going to bring you a lot of money. All of that time, all of the effort that you put into this new trade, this new person is going to pay off. And make sure you give yourself a pat on the back because this was a lot, a lot of work. When we have the hermit card about using our internal wisdom, Virgo, that means we are we have to trust in what we're feeling, what we're hearing from the invisible realms around us, from all the energy vibrations. And if you haven't uh, are not familiar with it, you can sign up for my free newsletter and you will receive my free ebook talking about universal energies. That's on my website, uh, up there, down there, all over the place here on YouTube. Now, this King of Pentacles, it could be your partner, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, may very well be you. For the majority of you, I feel this is you where you're breaking through this blockage and that stifling. You're severing ties with whatever it is. So again, it could have been a thought process that was restricting you, that was diverting your attention from what you really wanted in life, what you really wanted in business and in this relationship. It's going to be different for all of you, whatever group you are in. 
But this is a moment for you to make this huge, profound moment. You're gonna. This was flipped over, uh, completely flipped over. So it's very important for your reading. Nothing happens by chance, and you see that now. You're getting it. Eight of Cups, where it may have taken a really long time, especially like I said with this Knight of Pentacles. The other person, the job offer, you were sitting there waiting, wondering, are they going to come back? Am I going to get this offer? Will I ever see my way through this? It feels so heavy. But that heaviness is coming light, and that's where the Christmas holiday music comes in. So the celebration and joy of the holiday season is getting ready to come in for a lot of you over the next 7 to 10 days from the time you view this video. You're not going to sit on that anymore. You're done, okay? If somebody's sitting there, you're going to, sorry, I love you, but I'm going to move toward what I'm meant to do. So it's a beautiful, beautiful message. Now let's pull a romance angel card for you guys and see what they want you to know. And I will be doing uh, specific love readings. It's just a lot of energy. I haven't been able to. I've been doing a whole lot of other stuff for you, which you'll see on my website. We have the card of new love. And that's what I'm talking about. You're going to sever ties with anything that was restricting you. So if love is what you've been working at, love, opening up your heart, focusing on what it is you truly want, eliminating the ideal description, you know, they have to have blonde hair, they have to have green eyes, they have to have, you know, be five foot, whatever it is your, your dimensions are. This is saying, you know what, I want the ultimate love. I want the real love. I want the love that's handed down to me from the heavens above. This is the new love that is going to lead you into the next decade or even the rest of your life. This is the partnership that you've been working at and you have come so far. So they're saying, don't stop now. Keep going because you already know what direction you're moving into. New love is coming in for a lot of you. This isn't going to be anything like what you've experienced in the past because you're enlightened. You've grown. The ego card flew on the floor, but I'm going to leave that down there. It's all about pride. And that pride may very well have been what kept you or the other person, whatever you were dealing with in that stuck position, the card of pride. Ego, right? Our ego is what prevents us from taking opportunities that could change our world, our lives in a very positive direction. We get stuck in a place of denial. I feel this other person had you stuck. I really do. I feel it was you that was being stuck by somebody else, by a business, by a situation that was hurting your heart. And if our heart is shut down on any level of life, whether that's uh, we've had a lot of bad romances, so boop, we close our heart. I don't want love anymore. Forget love. I don't want it we don't get the money okay abundance and love fall hand in hand prosperity covers everything in the material plane including love so love will block your abundance it will block your prosperity your finances so that may be why some of you have taken a long time and that long path is beginning to open up over the next 7 to 12 days so i hope you have an amazing week thank you for watching much love